There's the shield right in the center. The head's right to the top of the left of the hole, top hole. Gosh, that's beautiful, man. Check that out. location up here in uh, Pennsylvania nice and cool versus Texas heat up here with Charlie, Charlie and Kevin with Potter County this is Heritage Relic Hunters yes, right yes, here yes. PA Pirate Paul and Casey he's with Potter County Battle Detecting Harry Potter, no. Harry, <laughs> yeah, this is Harry Potter that's right we're gonna go hit some colonial sites today so my oldest coin guys is a 1839 seated half dime can we beat today? That's my goal. Can I beat 1839? U.S. coin. U.S. coin. My oldest coin is AD 95. And I've dug Saxon coins and greenies in England, like left and right. You know, I was the greenie king on the Dirty Dozen trip. But today, I've come all the way up here a thousand miles just to get a copper or a silver. Something beyond 1839. We just don't have them in our parts at all. Not at all. No, never dug a U.S. large cent in my life. I've dug England's, I've done Canadians, but in no, no U.S. U.S. 1839 is my oldest U.S. coin. So we're going to do it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, we are here and uh, suited up, ready to get out, going for the large cent. But the ultimate prize today for me would be getting a colonial copper. A New Jersey has been taken out of here. So that's what we want to do. So let's get at it. Hey, uh, Bruce, you went up in this section here. Uh huh. I think you got a great chance for a large tent up there. All right, that's where I'm headed. Where I'm mean, that's where I'm going then. First, first dig. Look at this. First dig. Got him a copper. A copper. Already five minutes in the there game. Oh. KG2? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. definitely KG. Hard to make it out. So, uh, we're going to check out what this large copper is here. Pretty toasted, but. Yeah, it's toasted, but. Hey, congratulations, yeah, though, man. Toasted? Awesome, man. A little bit toasted? A little bit toasted. Think, little so. bit yeah. toasted. yeah. Maybe just cleaned it up. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I'll get some meat going later. When it dries out, yeah, we'll give it to Paul. He'll, he'll know yeah. right away. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's congratulations, right. man. Is pretty thin, isn't it? Well, we got my first decent find. Been digging a lot of shotgun head stamps. Got a fourteen fifteen on the Equinox, and uh, come up to be a uh, flat button. All right, we've already got a KG two, and I think PA Pirate Paul got a uh, Drake Bust half cent. And that's all we've gotten so far. All right, let's keep on rolling. Old PA, Hybrid Paul, got him a GW. When you're wet, you can see. Oh it's my goodness, look at that. Double cap. Yeah, what? Double cap. 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 Oh, yeah, I can see it from right here. Yeah. Check that out. I've always seen them on YouTube. I've never held it's one. My first one. Wow, look at that. Which way does it go? I can't see here. quite make it out. Uh, right, just like that. Right, there it is. I see the eagle now. Y'all see the eagle? There's the shield right in the center. The head's right to the top of the left of the hole, top hole. Gosh, that's beautiful, man. Check that out. Congratulations. Thanks. Is this your first one? Yeah. All right, then I know it's really, <laughs> I know you're really excited. 
That's yep. why you sent me over here, wasn't it? Yeah, he says, you can go over there. It's hundred over there. What did I say was over there? <laughs> no, you said there's it's never been hundred. What did I say was over there? Buttons over buttons. there. Yeah, you said buttons were over there. Well, we were trying to get you your first <laughs> I know it. I take a GW, though, any day as well. Let me see your half cent. I heard you got a half cent, too. Is it Drake Bust? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I think it's 1803. It looks like 1803. Goodness, look. Look at the condition of it. It's in great shape, too. Look at that. Man, you're killing it already. I got three buttons, not counting the GW up there. So the buttons are up there. Man. You just got Kevin, what you got? Repeatable signals. Nice little buckle. Oh, yeah, you know, Kevin's got a nice. That's that pewter? Nice, what is that? That's pewter, uh, I think. It's a, it's a, um, wait, that's really nice. Is that a shoe buckle or no, a knee buckle? No, it's going to be a knee buckle because it's got the, okay. the connector thing in the middle. <clears throat> if it is, it's, I've never that's found a That's beautiful. Buckle. That's really beautiful. I was getting an eight to a nine. Got a little flat button. I mean, convex button. Shanks broke on it. Well, just dug my other button right back there. And they said there's a lot of buttons up here, and I just dug this one up. And that, that's going to be, I don't know what that is. I have to wait until Pirate Paul gets up here. That's going to be a nice button right there. Looks like a deer head. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't want to push on it too much. Or is that an anchor? Maybe an anchor. I'm not sure. Can y'all tell? <laughs> All right, let's get a picture and keep on going. We'll let uh, the other guys that are familiar with these buttons tell me what that is, and we'll show you in here in a little bit later in the wrap-up. Got another little button. Got some fancy on it. <clears throat> See if I can get the focus in. There we go. Still got the shank on it. They said there are a lot of buttons that have been taken out of this little this little area right up here. It's right up by the road. And there was a mill about where that grass is right there. It was an old mill. So uh, let's keep in search for that large scent. Well, got a 16. 17. Another flat button. Got the shank on it. Only got me a silver flat button this time. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't tell. It's so bright out here. I can't even tell if my camera is focused. Yeah, that looks good. I'll uh, take a silver button any day. It's getting 11, 12, and uh, it's going to be a tomback button. The piece is broken off of it. Kind of makes you think it's a silver coin when you first look at it. A little tomback. All right, guys. Check this out. A 3031. This is what's interesting. This is what's really good. I don't know what this is, but it's a 3031. But just before I did that, I just want y'all to know, Preacher Digger had a little prayer. And I just said, Lord, bless me with a U.S. large scent. As soon as I swung to my left, this is the sound that I got, a 3031. So let's see what it is together. All right, let's see. It wasn't very deep. About four inches, all it said. Ah, I think it's going to be, it's going to be whole too. Check this out. Check this out. Is this my first U.S. large scent? I don't know. It's got a medallion on it.
I can't tell. Got something on it. I cannot tell. But this is going to be good though. It's been held as a necklace. Can y'all see that? That's got kind of... I have no idea what this is. Look at that. All right, I might have to go down there and get the other guys. Tell me what this is. That's a good find. All right, I don't know what I got. I'll find out later. I have the camera on when I find out. It was definitely hold. And I see design on it. I just don't know my colonial stuff. All right, let's go see what it's going to be. I'm over here with PA Pirate Paul. He's the local here. Tell me what that is. It's hold. Hit that. I couldn't tell. Definitely has design on it. But the hole, I would think, would be the right side up, you know. the. And I can't tell. If it, I thought maybe it was a colonial copper. I don't have any water. Stump you? I don't know either. We just don't know. Maybe we'll find out and tell you in the wrap-up. All right, get another 13, 14, 15, jumping around. Another button. Shank's still on it. All right, let's keep looking for that large scent. Another button. That large scent's got to be in here somewhere. In the 13, this is a nice little... Button's got some design on it. Let me lay it down here. Maybe we can see it a little bit better. I get out of the sun. Got a little fancy on it. A little star design. Shank is still intact. So hard to see through my camera out here. Shank is still there. Well, I think I got my first largey here uh it's a surface find you'd have to dig it. it's right on top of the ground let me turn you around you'll see it right there there it is oh it's not going to be a, a u.s large it's going to be a kg2 <clears throat> you see him looking to the left there i don't know what date it's going to be on it we might get a date on it i dug so many of these over in england kg2 all right, I'm getting closer though. I got a little medallion. I got a Air's Britannia. If we get some definition off of this one later, I want to clean it up. It's got, yeah, it's real good shape. Make can get a date off of it too. There it is, surface fine. Now, US large scent time. Let's get at it. Let's get a 24 here. Check this out, guys. Look at the definition on that. That is a. Oh, come on, camera. I want my camera. There we go. Check that out. That is an eagle eye button. That's infantry. Paul was saying that this is probably 1812. I have to look it up in my button book. It's it's thick copper, too. It's convex. got the shank on it. It's in great shape. Check that out. Wow. Up here where I'm digging all this other stuff. Well, still digging up here. On this hill, everything I've gotten today has been right up here. Got a real jumpy 18 to 20 signal. Popped it out. Check that out. Gonna be an Indian head. I'll take an Indian head. 1875. Almost got that 1872. In great shape, too. 1875. I'll take that any day. It's in the eight or a nine. Ring up a convex button. 
I can get out of the sun where you can see it. There we go. Can't tell if there's anything on it. It's all been up. All right, let's keep going for that elusive largey. Well, it's getting a 2122, real jumpy signal. You can see it's a nice flat button. Got some fancy on it. Still got the shake on it. This thing is focus. Casey got a real here. Looks like a one real. I got a reals uh, down in uh, South Texas and also over in Louisiana. That's nice, Casey. 1750. That's good. This is a one. This is a half. There's a half real too. 1745. Pirate Paul got him a little Spanish silver. That's nice, man. Wow, that's got, tiny. Got myself an 1800 Great Plus. All right, and Charlie got him a. Look at that. It's got good. And a musket ball. Good. Uh, look how clear that is. Wow. Bring up uh, 26. On this 26. That's what I'm looking for then. I haven't got one yet. Got one, ball. Kevin. What you got? Anything? Some musket balls? Yeah, I got this one. Eighteen something largest. Or yeah. Eighteen oh nine. Eighteen yeah, classic. Well, at least you got one. I'm the only one that don't have a. I know. I'm worried you're the guy we're trying. Yeah. yeah. You got there. Well, next time, don't dig it, guys. Just leave it in the <laughs> ground and let me come over. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not selfish. That was All right. Twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty five. Is this going to be my large synth that's eluded me all day? Let's live dig it and let's see. Let's give it some room here. Come on, Largy. Everybody's got a large synth except me. We got KG2s and some other stuff. All right, let's see what we got. Still down deep. That's a good sign. Let's uh, get in behind it. The grounds, they need some rain here in Pennsylvania. Nope. I think that's what's going to be right there. Well, I made it in from my trip through Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee. Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kentucky, and Arkansas. That's how I went. I made a big loop, over 3,000 miles. Got a chance to be out with Nugget Noggin and do his live event. Then scooted on up to Pennsylvania, did some hunting up there. And then scooted on over to Ohio, met up with the Can You Dig It, Seth Newkirk. And we did some, oh, we had a, wait to, we had a phenomenal day over there. At least I say he did, but I found a bucket list coin. But I went up to Pennsylvania, met up with Potter County Diggers and Charlie Heri uh, Relic Hunter, Heritage Relic Hunter, PA Pirate Paul, and uh, Casey with Potter County uh, Metal Detecting Diggers. And we had a good time. We really did. We went out on a 1700s colonial field, as you saw in the video. And uh, we just had a really good time. So uh, I didn't get my largey, though. That's what I was going for. The whole trip was about me getting a largey. And Kevin got them. Charlie got them. Uh, PA got them. Uh, Seth got them. I didn't get a large. At least I, I may have gotten one, but it's made into something else. So let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right. Didn't dig a whole lot of trash, but uh, there's all the trash out in the field. But we we're on a really good spot, and they told me on the hill was the buttons, and I believe it. Look at all these buttons I dug. These are all just regular old flat buttons. Some of them have a little gold uh, gilt on the back still, and uh, can get a date off of these. These are all going to be in the late 1800s i mean late 1700s uh, early 1800s buttons different tom back buttons things like that my best three buttons was this big old decorative flat button here uh it uh sorry about that somebody wants to decide to speed right when i'm filming on the, on the highway my other button was this uh, sportsman button which is a, a deer which were real popular for more wealthy hunters uh, coat button 
and then wow this button here it's that uh, 1834 to 1836 button that uh, is a right facing or left facing eagle infantry button that's a real good find I like that I did get an 1875 Indian head penny and I think this is maybe a US large scent maybe not I don't know it rings up higher than a large scent large scent is usually a 26 to a 28 on the equinox this was ringing up at 30 31 Really, I don't get anything off of it on either side. Just kind of, it was hold as a necklace. I have no clue. And uh, I guess my best find was the 1757. King George II. I haven't even cleaned it up. But uh, any other day, I would be so happy with a 1757. But I dug so many of these, probably over 60 of these in England, all in the 1700s and earlier on King George I and King William. Uh, so I was really wanting a U.S. large scent. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. I'm happy with any coin that's 1757, right? And uh, especially when you find it in America and the colonial uh, areas. But I had a good time with the friends. I'm going to look at maybe going back up there in the fall and give a little bit more time to get out there and find me a large scent. But uh, until I do, I'm going to start up my water season uh, next week, and so I'll be out in the water. But here's all my trash. And here's all my treasures. And like I say, the greatest treasure is not the old colonial stuff you can dig and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure is up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.